Hey guys, Michael Kwan here with Beyond the Rhetoric. Uh, I'm doing something a little bit different in today's video. Taking a look at a couple of wallets from a company called Alette. Uh, they're based out of San Diego and the wallets are supposed to be handcrafted uh, right there in San Diego, California. And their biggest thing is, well their biggest thing is that the wallets that they produce should be the world's thinnest. There is a big push towards having a thinner wallet and I'm looking forward to the day when I don't need to have a wallet at all and everything can be done through my smartphone but that's not quite there yet. So the goal is to get a slim wallet that's still functional so you're not left with just one card and a couple of bills. So they sent me a couple of samples here. Uh, the RFID sport wallet, primarily for men but I'm sure women can use it too if they'd like. And as well as the women's original. Uh, as I mentioned the men's one it has uh, RFID blocking technology, RFID protection. So uh, for all your wireless cards or whatever that you have in your wallet, this way you won't, don't have random people scanning your cards. So I'll just kind of go over these one at a time. We'll start with the men's wallet. So as you can see the box here, um, even when it got shipped to me, I was already surprised by how thin the box was. So that gave me a sense of how thin the wallet itself was going to be. That slides off like that. Let's open it up here. So it is genuine leather on the outside, feels nice and soft and supple. Uh, the wallet is smaller than I expected, not not only in terms of thinness. Um, here's my regular wallet here, I, I have a Kenneth Cole and it's bulky. I really like this wallet but uh, it's, it's, as you can see, it's clearly quite a bit thicker and obviously there's stuff in my wallet and not in this one but there's still a definite difference there. But even just like the footprint, you can see there that the Alette wallet is also smaller in footprint. So uh, on the inside, this is not leather. This is gonna be their uh, special nylon material, which is also the same as what you have for the uh, the bill area here. And they've done a few things to try to make the wallet as thin as possible. So under a normal wallet, you have the different card slots. They go like this, but what happens is you have all that extra material. Instead, what they've done is you put your cards in uh, sideways here, and it's just the one pocket on either side. They say that each, each of these pockets should be able to hold up to about um, four cards each. So I have my uh, UBC alumni card here and you can see that it just kind of slides in like that. And it sticks out just a little bit so you're able to see what you have there. And if you have multiple cards, you can just kind of thumb through them or pull them all out and have a look and put them all back. So that's the idea with uh, how they've been able to slim the material here because there's a lot less material needed. And uh, the other concern that I had about having the smaller sport wallet here from Alette is that uh, they are an American company. So I'll, obviously they are going to be geared primarily towards American customers, but Canadian bills are slightly larger in size than our American counterparts. And I saw that the, the height was a little bit shorter than uh, what we no normally have here. So I grabbed myself a quick $20 bill just to see how well it can fit inside of here. And you can see that it's actually kind of perfect right like there's a little bit of give but not very much there in terms of uh, height so you probably don't want to carry a lot of bills but again if you have if you're kind of moving towards having a slim wallet to begin with you probably don't want to be carrying that much paper money anyway so you can slap a couple of credit cards and your driver's license in here up to a total of eight cards and you can see that yeah it is it is really thin and uh, yeah the leather is really nice you don't really see any of the Alette branding it just has the RFID Thing there to let you know that it is has the special material stitched into it that uh, protects from errant scanning. So that's the uh, the RFID sport wallet. Pretty nice, I think. Pretty. This doesn't ha have a lot of huge personality or in your face, but I think that's kind of the point of having the slim wallet in the begin with. To, to begin with, uh, you just want it to be clean and simple. So I'll put that aside. So moving on here to the women's wallet. It's called the uh, Women's Original, originally enough. And uh, packaging is much the same. The idea here is that it kind of takes the same idea of using the slim materials and minimized materials and puts in more of a female friendly kind of prod, uh, product. Uh, some people might say that women don't need to have or don't have as much of a desire to have the slimmer wallet because they're just going to throw it in their purse anyway. But what if you want to carry a smaller purse or maybe you don't want to carry a purse at all but you still want to carry most of the cards and things that you need on a day to day basis. So the idea here is that it's the women's original slim wallet. So the packaging is the same, as I said. Uh, except the little sleeve there. The wallet itself is 
bigger than the uh, the sport wallet, of course. Uh, but you can see that it is, uh, you know, almost just as thin, using the same kind of leather material. Uh, nice, soft, and supple here. You have the coin pouch on the back with the same nylon material on the inside there. Um, carrying a lot of coins is going to bulk up your wallet significantly, so it's nice that it's there, but uh, you may not use it all all that much, or you could use it for other pur purposes, really. There's a magnetic clasp. Pretty stylish there. And again, um, there's no real Alette branding on this at all, so um, that's neither here nor there. That's a personal preference thing. Same kind of nylon material on the inside here. And uh, opening up the bill fold area, you can see that there are two spaces here for keeping your currency separate if you have you know, Canadian and American money if you go shopping or something like that. So there's the separation there for the bill. And instead of just having the one slot on either side like a sport wallet, you have two slots on either side. So um, if you happen to be collecting the McDonald's stamps, you can see that you know, it just fits in just like that. And again, um, you should be able to fit about four cards per slot. So you can have up to 16 cards here should you so desire, but if your goal is to have as slim a wallet as possible, you may try to minimize how many cards you have in there at any time. And again, here's the $20 bill. Give a sense of how much space you have here. And that's, uh, the first pocket's obviously very deep, but I think the second pocket is slightly elevated to help, yeah. The rear slot is slightly elevated to help separate the space um, so that it can remain as slim as possible. So that's the uh, women's original wallet. Take that out. And I, I think they call this color aquamarine, but the wallet does come in a few different colors as well. These are the couple of wallets that I'll be taking a look at from Alette. The RFID sport wallet, primarily for men, and the uh, women's original. You can see obviously the difference in size there, but they're obviously serving different markets. And these are a couple of the thinnest wallets that I've, that I've seen. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll put up uh, several more pictures and a full written review up on my blog at Beyond the Reddit. That's btr.michaelquan.com. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment, let me know what you think or if you have any questions. And be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos about uh, all these different products I'm looking at. Uh, I do reviews on smartphones and things like that so you can see some sample footage and all that good stuff. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.